All right, everybody. Oh, started out the broadcast fucking yawning. Holy smoke, as I was just about to go to bed. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so this is something I want to talk about. Really, really want to talk about, baby. Woo! Woo! Okay, so what I really want to talk about the most right now, it's a very, very simple thing. It's a very, very simple subject. It's the fact that I racked up on a whole bunch of puts for sundial growers, because I really, 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 truly believe sundial growers is a fraudulent company who rips off the shareholders who doesn't have much of a market share to begin with in the marijuana field. This is my opinion. I, I haven't seen a lot of proof to combat this opinion. In fact, there is such a lack of this company, it just pisses me off. And I feel like it's been in the startup phase for a while. That's my problem with it. So, yeah, am I anti-sundial growers? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. I pretty much am. I, I just don't think they're a good company. I would love to see them better run. Um, I I do want to I do want to say if they can get um, better staff, uh, better management, I should say. I think their staff is probably fine, but I think that the way they're managed, um, it would be best if they had somebody experienced at the helm, somebody who would try to get the company back up on its feet. <sighs> the thing is. They have shown that they have the ability to be profitable. They have shown. They, they, their earnings are not the worst. But at the same time, their earnings are not justifiable. Their, their earnings don't justify the market valuation. And this is important to me because if your earnings don't justify your market valuation, then, and by a lot, in my opinion your revenues mainly. Uh, so, so there's revenue and then there's the, Oh, uh, I, I can't always remember the proper term. So there's revenue, obviously the money that's coming in. And then of course you have to take that revenue and you have to use that and pay, pay off the people you're in debt to, um, pay your employees, pay to rent equipment, places, blah, blah, blah. All those factors come into play. But what else? What else would come into play? Well, obviously, once you figure all that out, once you figure all the expenses, cost of operation, all that shit, then you can uh, figure out what their earnings are and then kind of eventually calculate their earnings per share just by um, taking the earnings. Uh, I can't remember the calculation right now off the top of my head. I'm, I'm terrible at this. Usually, I don't really look up the calculation, but it's rough. Today is not my day, but that's okay. So the whole the whole goal here is look at the company's earnings. Do they have consistent earnings where they're going up? Consistently going up, not stagnant. You know, it's good if they're in positive territory for their earnings, but at the same time, <laughs> uh, the thing that matters the most is do their earnings match their valuation? Are they really, really overvalued? And price over earnings is a big deal. It sincerely is. So if there's one thing I want to encourage people to do is to try to figure out is the company's growth, is the, is the growth there or is it on decline? And it can be tough. It can be really tough to, to figure out the long-term horizon of a company. And then also sometimes it can be really easy too. Um, the reason it's tough is because there's so many unknown variables. So you can only really work with what you know. And this is one of the reasons why I consistently invest in well-known great companies because I just don't see any reason on taking a chance on a startup company, you know, penny stock or something or an IPO. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it's nice to be a part of those. But if you're if you're not investing early on, then, then what's the point? You know what I mean? A lot of businesses fail. So taking a chance on a penny stock really is a big risk. And you are gambling at a certain point. So It's a risky game, folks. <sighs> but I do believe 
Sundial Growers has potential and some promise. Some. But I'm not putting all my life, life savings on it, obviously. I'm betting against it first and foremost, and then I'm betting for it. You gotta do both, in my opinion. I think that's the best way to do it. It's my opinion, I'm sticking to it, but uh, everybody has their own methodology at the end of the day. These are exciting times to invest, though. I ain't gonna lie. Lots of opportunity out there right now. And for me, personally, I... I love it. I love the fact that I could play both sides of a penny stock. I could bet against it. I could bet for it. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've been buying more put options of Sundial because it's been going up rapidly. When a company goes up rapidly and you know it's a fairly certain without a doubt it's a shitty company, uh, you do want to bet against it. But like I said, I got plenty of shares that bet for it. So it just depends. Lots of things to consider. There are a lot of things to consider on this one, but oh, I really am tired. It's just one of those days. It's just been kind of cloudy where I'm at. And sometimes you just get so burnt out from, from how cloudy it is and shit. It's just like, oh. But yeah, my my outlook is if legalization happens, I think that there's a, a road that could be taken by this company. And the road is legalization. If, if it gets federally decriminalized and legalized, making it to where, you know, a state can choose to make it legal if they want, um, this would make it to where, uh, uh, this would make it to where Canadian companies, for instance, can go across the border to the U.S. So this, this is a big deal. And here's the thing, a lot of Robin Hood investors are gonna come pouring in. Um, even finance, even institutional investors are probably pulling in if the news is good enough. And this is a big deal because they know everybody with a couple cents is gonna try to invest in Sundial. Luckily, my position's already good enough that if it does go up, great. If not, I'm, I'm like I said, my long-term thesis is it's a bad company and its intrinsic value is, I wouldn't say zero. But it's valued right now like a $500 million uh, market cap. And from what I've been able to look at just by eyeballing it, um, I'd say maybe a $100 million market cap. That's my best guess. That's my best assumption. But that's all I got is a guess and an assumption. But there's a lot of things about this company that just don't add up to me. It feels, it feels so bloody fraudulent. Man, it just, it irks me. And it hurts me. Uh, but yeah, ultimately. Oh, ultimately. I don't know anymore. Uh, this is one of those days where I might actually just go to bed early. I, I really am legitimately tired, but I do want to stay focused. I want to stay up because I want to make sure that I'm uh, uh, trying to make more content tonight. It's just really important to me to, to try to keep making content for everybody and and really trying to, um, you know, just get on board with, with with all these crazy theories that keep coming out of my brain. Uh, anyway, though, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to view this uh, video. As always, you guys are such a loyal fucking audience, and I, I appreciate it more than you guys all realize. And, I, I, and, and I'm trying to make sure that I give shout-outs to my Patreon subscribers. I don't think I have any still, but... It, Eventually, I'll get some. You know, maybe I'll get one. Maybe I'll get two. Um, let's see. Do I have any patrons? Nope. Not a single one, but that's okay. Um, I'd eventually like to get some, but honestly, you know, I don't think I've really done anything to completely earn uh, tons of Patreon subscribers, but I, I do definitely want to try to get some. <clears throat> Because uh, having having a dollar a month would actually help fund certain aspects of the show. But at the end of the day, I'm just grateful for anybody who actually wants to subscribe. Um, if they actually want to. I only want to make it a dollar a month. I just... I don't think people should pay me a whole bunch. I mean, I'm worth a lot. Don't get me wrong. But I want to add more value to your lives uh, than I get in return. Is essentially it. I want to help more people than anything. 
I don't want to just stack my wallet, man. I just want to help. So. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time to view this video, and I will try my best to make another video here soon enough. But thank you guys, 